Hello guys, who here, back with another video, this time around doing an updated version of all my mods. Uh, th I did do a mods video way back in uh, 2018, so now I'm doing uh, uh, one for 2019, I was requested to do so, but many of the mods are still the same, and I'll still go over them even though I did that uh, way back, so... Uh, yeah, just doing an updated version and just letting you guys know I do not go over any mods that changes anything to do with things how uh, costume looks or how any uh, mounts do uh, look. So these are all utility and UI mods that are uh, featured here basically. Uh, so uh, without further ado, let's just jump into uh, all these mods. So first, uh, the first one is doing the aura doesn't really do anything uh, for the, it's just gunslinger just makes it look different and also has this count. It doesn't work for all uh, the costumes for the uh, gunslinger. Um, some of them do not work because it hasn't been updated for a while. I think uh, Dave is taking a break from making updating these. But most of the skins, you can probably see them down here. It works for them. And maybe at some point there's going to be, uh, you know, a... Uh, was an updated version for this, but uh, it does give you this counter so it shows you when you have to use your potions and stuff like that. It's a little little thing But again, it doesn't work for all the costumes, but I guess you could use one that does work for it um, And next thing is a little bit more important I guess uh, it does show you how much your team DPS the average DPS and the timer uh, Also shows you the number up here how much it you basically damage uh, if you're doing, uh, if you're doing like speed runs and stuff like that, this could be a, a valuable thing. Also, you can, if you're carrying people, you can see, for example, on Dawn the Moon, if you have enough DPS to uh, burst her down before everybody dies to her gun, basically, or you have to move in the other side of the room. But boss health is pretty cool. Uh, it also shows you more information. I think this should be a standard thing. Maybe not with like everything, but at least the numbers up here should be a standard thing for everyone. Uh, next thing is the brilliant ore texture. Just makes it uh, ores look a lot more defined and with different colors and stuff like that. So uh, this also works for Geo top side, as you can see. So definitely a, a very good mod to just makes it look uh, very better. Like for example, glacier shards becomes uh, yellow, so they stand out a lot. Uh, besides being just white and kind of blending into the whole uh, what's it called uh, environment. So yeah, Brilliant Ore Texture is pretty awesome. Next is Clock Plus. Uh, it's pretty cool to have a clock in-game. I think this should also be a standard thing. Maybe not with like how long you've been in the world or uh, how many don't you do per hour, but at least the clock would be nice to, to have it. You can also see it up here, what it looks like in-game. So yeah, these uh, it, this should also kind of be standard just at least to have a clock. Uh, I know it's a little thing, but it could be nice to to see at least what the clock is. But yeah, not really very important. Crafting uh, color fix could actually be some that is absolutely amazing because it does show you uh, if this is already in collections and it, it does a lot more for uh, knowing if it's in your collection or not. And it can be very, very helpful. So I would definitely suggest you get this. It's a small thing and you might not always use it, but it does uh, provide a lot of good utility to it. Uh, next is, of course, the customized VFX for gunslingers. Uh, so it makes it a lot, lot softer. So it doesn't like, uh, when there's a lot of gunslingers, it can be quite uh, insane how much the VFX uh, basically does when you have their ultimate on. Again, it doesn't work for all skins, just like the, uh, uh, you, well, the aura utility countdown thing. But uh, it works for most of them and it could be a nice thing. A little add, uh, just uh, makes it a little bit uh, better to look at, especially if you're streaming. Uh, it can be quite hard for the viewer to just see all those VFX. So um, turning it down can be uh, very, uh, very cool at least. Next thing is one of the required mods is the customized VFX for Shadow, Radiant and Stellar. It also works for uh, crystal items. Uh, so it basically shoots up a beam if you're in dungeons or whatever. If, a, if, if an item drops shadow, radiant, or stellar, or crystal, it is not, not updated, but you can see also, uh, also uh, it says right here, work, work in progress, but it actually does work. So I'm not sure why he hasn't updated that yet, but it does work for all the top loot of uh, basically um, the game, yeah. Next is the damage coefficient mod. It's a nice thing to have, and it's more of an end game thing. It's just something you need to have. 
Uh, if you have uh, the black UI, I think it's called, or I think that's the name of it. I'm not sure. I don't use it personally, but then this uh, basically mod is implemented in that mod. So uh, you don't have to add it twice. You can basically just go to your character screen and see if it's, if, if it's down here. Uh, mine is right here, for example. And I just use that because I kind of like the standard UI a little bit. I want to go to um, as close to the standard UI as I can, with, of course, getting all the benefits of everything. But I don't use this too much, but it's a little invocation uh, of how your damage is, basically. Next is to easy uh, see critters uh, desires, uh, which basically shows you this, uh, as you can see in the picture, shows you a ring around all of these different critters there is in the uh, geode caves. So it's just much easier if it's like crammed into some kind of place and you you really uh, can't. It's it's an amazing mod if you're doing a lot uh, with geode top, uh, not top side, sorry, geode, geode caves. <laughs> you can basically very, way, way easier see uh, these guys and it's a very great mod. mod. I, I think this is um, Nothing that should be standard in the game of course, but it's basically a standard mod if you're doing caving uh, Many people are done with the caves, but new people are coming in and they might be uh, Things and also they're changing it in the going green update where you can uh, get specific mo uh, monsters uh, and get those eggs really and, and stuff like that, but Point is that these circles is uh, quite amazing. The next is also for uh, caves. Basically, this is the egg finder, and as you can see on the picture, it, it, it does uh, make a circle and makes a quite a uh, sorry huge uh, circle. Uh, as you can see, it's for bronze, gold, and silver eggs, but all of them, and it makes like a huge beam that pulses or not beam, sorry, a huge circle. Like it's very, very hard to miss if uh, it's uh, if you're going into those side areas and stuff like that. I have had a lot of benefits going th through this and it's just absolutely amazing mod and is absolutely required if you're doing caves in Jude, basically. Uh, next is the enhanced leaderboards. Uh, it's a little thing. Basically, it just makes it a lot easier to see uh, like when uh, things are required basically so if you click on for example a box is open this week i can click on on this uh, how many it requires so i am i'm this much far away uh, could i see where i was so i was 2000 boxes around so i need to open 500 more to head into this and you can basically go do it for everything you can also see for example let me see kills uh, if i want to see the rank for example i just click it okay so i have to kill four to hit at least top 1000 and then it of course goes all the way up. Uh, so this is absolutely amazing mod if you're doing uh, things, for example, for leaderboards and you need to see what you're going for next and stuff like that. It's just uh, just makes it a little bit more better. Better invites is just uh, it's a cool mod as well, depending on what you do. But the thing is that it moves the uh, invite button a little bit higher. Uh, it's a small thing, but if it if you have a lot of friends and they, they keep inviting you or sending you requests and stuff like that, it's just nicer to have it a little bit more above. Also, it gives you instant buy, so you don't have to confirm every time you buy like a lot of uh, Drugeminator or, for example, uh, gym booster boxes and so on and so on. So it just makes it a little bit easier if you're buying like a, like a ton of stuff from the market uh, place or the shop. Sorry. Uh, so yeah. Uh, next is to easy to see biomes. I would suggest you also get this because as you can see on the pictures, it frees up a lot of the fog and stuff like that. I think it does a little bit for your uh, frame rate as well because it doesn't have to load this, but it actually also might have the opposite because you can see more. So I'm not sure if it's uh, it's up or down, but you got to see that on your uh, frames if you were, uh, yeah if you're looking at that. But also the clear water is amazing because you can see through water instead of it just being so super blurry. So if you can handle this, uh, if you're already struggling with your FPS, I would not suggest you're in, in, uh, installing this, but you could try, see if it changes anything for you. But yeah, this is definitely a nice mod to, to remove all of these. Uh, it also does, uh, if you're streaming again, this makes it a lot easier for the viewer to see. So it just makes it a lot better uh, if you are streaming. The next is the mod manager. It just basically fixes all the, how to display, faster scrolling, more information, uh, yada, yada, yada. Also a bigger preview. Uh, so basically just makes it a lot better if you have a lot of mods. It's a nice little thing to install. You don't have to at all, but yeah, it's it's pretty cool. 
basically any mod by exodave is awesome and simple those guys just have to shout out because they are great also storm uh, reaper is a great those guys are amazing um next thing is this super loot collector basically it just makes it a lot easier it locks some stuff it also unlocks some stuff so um yeah just a lot better optimized ui uh make sure you are familiar with this before you just go in and loot collect everything and see if uh, just familiarize yourself with it because it's a little bit different maybe what it locks and what it not locks so yeah uh, it's a very nice mod if you have like a, for example a lot of stuff then it just is very very great mod to uh, basically um yeah to loot collect basically things and stuff like that so but again familiarize yourself with it that's a hard word <laughs> before you kind of just go in and collect loot all you can't buy the stuff back of course but just familiarize yourself with it before you just lose something that was important to you next thing is not a, i wouldn't call it a super required mod but it is the uh, cornerstone waypoints there's also another waypoints mod i'll get to later on that is absolutely required this just makes it a little bit easier but what it does is it that it puts up a little uh flag if you can call it like that that shows you like a green uh where there is cornerstone so if you're out there it's a lot easier to see your cornerstone so not saying it's super required it's just uh it's just in the middle between being like it's okay and being required because it's just uh, makes it a lot faster finding these cornerstones. I still use it around when, of course, not in U10, but I still use it when I'm farming gems and stuff like that to find these cornerstones. And yeah, it, it, it definitely, definitely helps for sure. Next is the Friends Plus mod. Uh, I haven't gone into making best friends and stuff like that, but you can do that. You can basically make friends up here. Uh, I did it because there's a friends counter and stuff like that. And, and the friends... Uh, basically the friends what would you call it interface is really really wonky uh, I have over like 2100 friends and it lags out my game every time I do almost uh, to the brink that I think it's gonna crash if I get more but I'm still going to add more friends because I want more friends in Trove that's for sure uh, so at some point we hopefully the friends list will be um, be optimized so it doesn't load the offline players or uh, you can somehow only see the online players. Uh, I don't know exactly, but uh, hopefully at some point they will f get to this and fix it, basically. So it doesn't load all those offline players. I tried to uh, remove some of my friends way back that doesn't play anymore. But I don't know. Like, I can't remember when, like, people are playing it. At all. And for me, it's also very nice when people come back to the game and says, Hi, I've been gone for the game so long. How you doing? And stuff like that. So... Um, I, I really hate to remove friends that uh, maybe plays again or something like that or at least shows you how long it's been there since the plane like if it's been two years probably not coming back or something like that that's that's for sure uh, but at least it doesn't couldn't uh, it just not load the offline friends that would be great next is the improved aura uh, for arcane and martial auras, uh, auras. Uh, it's just when you use this uh, basically shows you a different one it doesn't really do much it just makes it a little more different to look at uh, there's a ton of these out there and you just gotta have to find uh you know the one that fits you uh, as you can see it's easier to see the aura bigger manage uh time up time better so basically when it's you can basically basically do it better it has a better visual and like i said there's a ton of these out there so you don't have to use this one but you can do whatever you uh, want to again it's not required at all but yeah it's it's just a tiny little thing next one mod is uh is again in between required and kind of okay it is the items per hour tracker and it just makes it a lot easier and it just makes it a lot easier to see what drops for example chaos chest or pearls or something like that because it uses it different colors uh, and you can also see how many you're getting per hour for example of this specific item so if you're farming um for example sunlight bulbs you can see how many you're getting over uh, the hours and it just makes it a lot lot easier to kind of calculate how many you get per hour uh so again it's not required because it's not you can this is a little bit more information right but it doesn't really have to be if that makes any sense a new one is the uh merchants show more basically just shows more in the 
uh, tab as we have also for like for our friend uh, for our classes for example just makes it a lot easier to see everything so you don't have to scroll down so much and you can basically get a better overview of what uh, things are not really required but it's just like as it says down here compacting and showing more items uh, and just bigger view basically and it just shows you all the npcs uh, stuff basically some of you might have to still uh, scroll but it, it's, a, it's a nice little addition you know just makes it a little bit more uh, uh, easier to see everything um, if you don't like mind the scrolling yeah well you don't really have to get this mod next is the mini boss radar and there's two mods out there there's one that makes like a box and stuff like that i don't know what the remember the name of it but i still use the mini boss radar i'm used to it and i really like it so what it does is it's it does do uh like everywhere is there's mini bosses or bosses in dungeons it show it's uh, it shoots up a beam uh, a white beam that you can see from quite a far away and you can basically tell where the monsters or where the bosses are uh this is one of the mods that's absolutely absolutely required uh if you play on pc for sure uh but uh also the the box mod that i was talking about again don't know what the name of it is is just does exactly the same thing and should also be a requirement but this is absolutely amazing i don't know if i even can play without it anymore because i've been playing with it for such a long time but it's a very 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 nice mod and it definitely required to do so one of the new mods is the Moonlight Bolt Waypoint. So uh, coming in the gardening update, uh, there is something called Moonlight Bulbs. We have Sunlight Bulbs, but now we're also gonna get Moonlight Bulbs. And again, as you can see in the picture, it's just gonna show you this, uh, well, waypoint, you can call it, uh, to show you where there is some sun, or oh, sorry, Moonlight Bulbs on the waypoint. And I can't show you right now because the, the update is not out yet, but it's really, um, really a great mod and a great addition to uh what what we're gonna basically require so it it sure is a, a requirement later on pyro disc plus is also a mod it just show you know we have this pyro disc a big uh disc in the way when it procs basically and it just makes it more see through while you still can kind of see what is going on so it's not really required but it just makes the, the visuals a little bit better uh especially um like if you're streaming and stuff like that people can don't have to ha see this busy, big disc all the time so yeah definitely could be uh awesome to to use if you're uh, even if you just like it next is the pointy finger and there's no preview but you can see my mouse right here it's just cutely pointy finger uh just makes it uh instead of that just making a pointy finger it's just i really look it's just like the the look of it it just looks very very nice uh really feel like it's kind of funny uh so it just makes the mouse look different next thing is the quick class ui i showed it right before it just shows you all the classes basically and so you don't have to well you can scroll a little bit but it's not necessary uh but it just shows all of them and also uh yeah just also view all the subclasses i think that's not something you always see but you can at least see the subclasses below and more i more use it just for the sheer i can see all of, it, all of them and i can just click them instead of i had to scroll down every time to go down and show uh, basically next thing is the skyrim compass and as you can see up here it just changes this one up here and it also changes when you're in a five star dungeon and looks like this and looks absolutely amazing and uh, i really hope that um that he's that is going to be more like a whole ui whole like both this and and also your bags and stuff like that is going to have like a theme of skyrim so i really hope that ken really gets back and do a mod for all of these and as for right now while i'm recording this there is no more to this but it absolutely am looks amazing it probably took a while to make but i would love to see like a whole theme of just like skyrim like that i'm not a i haven't played skyrim myself but just the look of this looks absolutely amazing i think it did a amazing job on it and i really hope that there's going to be more uh stuff like for here and for for this over here and stuff like that and uh, yeah hopefully there'll be more so right now i'm just using it because i really think that it's absolutely amazing uh super hot bar that's the one i have down here it just looks a little bit better i mostly got it for the uh, skill uh, cooldown uh, duration enabled which basically when you use an ability uh, it basically gives you a timer down here to show you when that goes uh, when it's ready again so 
uh, I wouldn't say again it's required because really nothing is super required. But the thing is that the timer is nice to just give you a more of a clear view of when things are ready again. And there's different mods that does that out in the world, but or in the, basically in the mod world. Uh, but this one uh, is the one I just took it because of of the sheer uh, cooldown reduc uh, uh, duration enable basically. So yeah, super a great mod itself. Superior Marketplace is pretty cool. It shows you how much, much flux you have. It also shows you more uh, more items basically when you are selling. You can there's not as many pages and stuff like that, and it shows you basically more. It 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 basically does not do anything besides that. So it's not like uh, super required, but does, if you are doing like a lot of things, if you are, for example, uh, let's say you are flipping the market, market a lot, then you uh, definitely want to get this mod because it definitely shows you a lot more and it's a very nice, um, what's it called? Uh, yeah, nice, nice mod, for example, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Next is the chat mod. Uh, there's no peer view here, but you've probably seen it all the way over here. You see different people have made customized uh, like uh, name for their what's it called uh, clubs and stuff like that. And also there's different colors and, and stuff like that. And this is just a fun little uh, little mod. You can say you also have some uh, some extra emotes and stuff like that that also is implemented. Actually, my mo uh, emotes is also in there. You can use them. So if you don't have it, it's basically you won't you will just see the text, you won't see the emote itself. So yeah, uh, very fun mod, and I just like uh, basically also the symbol like I talked about before. It just he makes amazing mods, and the same thing is with his club tag mod. It just looks very good underneath. Again, the customized is also under there. So uh, for example, Edge of Abyss, as you saw there, would be underneath here if you have that one selected and stuff like that. And we actually also have one for the club I am in or the Q Music Club. We have uh, Club Who is also has its own customized uh, you know, logo and stuff like that. So that's pretty awesome that, uh, that he made that as well. So those two are just... Just fun little ones, but it, yeah, it is pretty pretty cool to be honest. Next is the tome reminders. So basically, when you fill up a tome, I can show you right now. Let me show you. Uh, so when you, I have a tome that's basically at sleep, I'm gonna put it here. It shows you uh, this warning uh, that it tells you that it is not a uh, rampage, but it's actually to change your tome. Uh, it's a little bit lazy uh, to do so, but it does uh, basically. Uh, we'll call it uh, remind you every time so you're just a little bit more efficient with your tomes we do have a lot of uh, weekly tomes to go through so if you miss it out for a while it could be really nice to that you don't miss out on it basically uh, so the tome reminder is just a little bit lazy but I, I really enjoy it and because it doesn't mi make me miss out on uh, any changes of tomes also if you uh, starting for example the week sometimes you start on a uh, you know, the one that is already done, right? The point is that then it will tell you and you get to remind you to change your tone when you uh, start a new week, basically. So the tone reminder is absolutely amazing as well. The last mod is gonna be a required one. Uh, there was, like, there's two or three mods that is absolutely required. This is one of them. The waypoints mod is absolutely amazing. This one shows you where there's enchanted wood, where there's like bottles, cupcakes, uh, bones, uh, meteorite, for example. All those things shows you that little, uh, as we saw before in the sunlight bulb mod, it shows you this little waypoint pointing down to whatever you are going through. So uh, this mod is amazing because it shows you where all the things is, but it also kind of... Uh, it for me when I'm passing through the world, it makes me also go a little bit out of my way and picking up uh, like enchanted wood sometimes. So I actually accumulate them just passively, if you can say it like that. Uh, but basically, over time, I'm accumulating some enchanted wood because uh, I'm just going through the basically the world and I'm kind of going out of my way a little bit to pick up all these things. So this makes it absolutely amazing. And also, if you're hunting these things, if you're farming these things. It also does for the mushrooms, for example. It just makes it absolutely amazing to go through this. So this is absolutely required, I would say, because uh, you're just farming these things a lot more easy. And, and this is one of the, like I said, one of the mods that is required. So 
Uh, this video actually became a little bit longer than I expected, but I did also go over each and every single mod. So again, if you uh, found this guy or these uh, mods helpful on this, uh, what would you call it? Uh, get through, go uh, play through <laughs> anything. If you like this, at least make sure you guys like and subscribe and all that jazz. And I will just see you in the next one. Bye.